Hello. All right. So you're, where's this tour going after this? So heading back uh, to the We're doing the Southwest, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, Tempe, uh, Albuquerque. El Paso? That's why you're not going home? <laughs> well, we're going to Texas, but not El Paso. El Paso is just an awful town. Oh, no, wait a minute. Nasty town. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. The best thing about El Paso is Juarez. <laughs> it's a, ni a nice sleazy border town. Yeah, I got I got beat up in uh, Matamoros, which is right across <laughs> from Brownsville, <laughs> by uh, some Mexican pig. My hair was a little longer then, and they didn't, didn't really like that too much. Mm -hmm. So they, they still on their trip to Mexico. No, no, that was when I lived there. I used to live there before I came to read. And uh, yeah, that was a bad scene. I was on my way. They have this this thing where if you take your car in as a tourist, it's from my, it's from Chicago. They slap a little sticker on it. Yeah, so tourist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, have, you have to leave the country once every six months with your car. And my friend just spaced massively on that. So then he got his car impounded, and then he had to pay money to get his car unimpounded. And then he had to pay an extra fine for being over the period. Exactly. And then we, so then he had to drive it. And a little country. something for the wife. <laughs> <laughs> my children. <laughs> yeah, my great uncle. Uh, yeah, Mexico is great for that. That's what, uh, nice and corrupt. Right. Well, that's what I found. You know, the, well, the first time I caught you, I guess, was in Paris, that show. Yeah, that's and, right. Um, right after that, like, hit trying to, I, I went down East Africa for a while. Uh, yeah. The borders down there were ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Know, it got to, uh, like, a woman, for instance, if she didn't want to have a bag, she'd just throw a box of tampons on top, they wouldn't touch it. You know? Right. <laughs> oh! If you wanted to, uh, right. <laughs> in the case of, mojo. Yeah. In case of Americans or something, you could just, uh, like, chuck a, chuck a carton of Marlboro's on top that's open, you know, and they'll just say, oh, Marlboro's, you know, it costs like 10, uh, 10 days' wages to buy a pack. Right, you know? right on. Take it. I'll take it. Go right on through. Yeah. yeah. Okay, another one. <laughs> <laughs> Great. They're, uh, that's the way it is. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice that way, though, you know? Yeah, it's, you know, it's all out front, you know, you can deal with it. It's much weirder in the places where where you have the huge, complicated bureau bureaucratic approach. Like so I many eat. Just, like, <laughs> America. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping to spend next year back there. Let's see. And get far out. Presumably, we're getting out of read this year. Hopefully, <laughs> it's about fucking time. Um, and, and apply for fellowship to study. Well, overtly study malaria on the coast of Kenya. Really? Right. But all I'm going to do is, you know, buy some malaria pills and suntan lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you apply for Watson? Oh, yeah. This is the IBM family that gives out all this box. Oh, like nice. 7,000 just for free, you know, just trap. Right. Trap. So, oh, so that yeah, works yeah. out. Yeah, sure. That'd be good. We're planning on going to Egypt next year. Really? really? Yeah. Great. Have you ever been there? No, but Richard, uh, the He'll guy that, the hell out of it. that uh, yeah, yeah is, one of our guys has been there a bunch of times. He's got a great setup going on. There, there's a, they have an outdoor performing area right below the paws of the Sphinx. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Have you seen the new We're going to play there. Have you seen the new James no, Bond? No, I haven't yeah, seen Yeah, I've seen from that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah it's worth, right. I mean, if you're into James Bond, you know. Yeah, I, I've seen yeah, flashes seen, from it all Yeah, like. good, good escape, entertainment. Thanks a lot, Cy. Si. Sure. But, uh, yeah, that'll be great. Yeah, that's what our just there. There's an album cover right there. It's underneath this thing. Yeah. We'll see if we can levitate the pyramid for a moment. Um, yeah, yeah, Move yeah, to the sign yeah, or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's really upside down, down like it's supposed to be. <laughs> mm -hmm. I believe we'll. But uh, God, so that's great. Know. So, are you, will you hit any other countries? Is it like in? You won't be doing Europe. Uh, no, the, it's touchy. You know, it's real hard. I mean, rock and roll. It's like saying we're going to bring bombs in. You know, they don't really dig it. And it's not even cool in a lot of just straight European countries. It's not cool in Italy. It's not cool in Spain. Not cool in Greece. France is cool. France is okay. <laughs> and uh, you guys were planning on like Middle East tour at some point, weren't you? Now Middle East and like, Far East tour. Well, somebody invited us to Persia for this kind of like a private party. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Don't offend me by shake. Yeah, don't offend me by shake. It's one of those things, you know. It's you know, if it were too touchy, we really couldn't trust ourselves to go there. We, I know we'd fuck up. Yeah, you know, it just <laughs> have to happen. 
Well, they had, uh, do you, I don't, well, yeah, you've probably talked to Kesey since uh, last spring. He came sure. to read, just in, in terms of sort of read rel relevant things. Do you want to scrape on another line? Yeah, sure. Um, this Ira group of Iranian dissidents or something to um, talk like, so the Kesey up there, Gretchen Kafuri, who's um, a state, I guess a state uh, yeah, rep. Yeah, she's a state senator or something. Who's pretty, it was, Steve, it was her husband who, who introduced like all the homegrown, you know, pot of laws. Great. In Oregon. And, um, <coughs> but Kesey was up there with them and all these Iranian dissidents, right? And everybody's there to see Kesey. Nobody, nobody showed up to see the Iranians, you know. I bet they were pissed. <laughs> yeah. No, but then, then the Iranians started getting into this thing and trying to disrupt them. This other group of Iranians showed up because they didn't think that the, these supposed dissidents, they thought they were actually agents of the Shah, you know, so they were shouting, oh. turned into a big shouting match. Was that great. Right? That shit is amazing. And, um, and you know, like, there are all these, all these high receivers just sitting there going, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> What's happening? Political madness. Yeah. But um, Kesey was the one who calmed down and he just grabbed the mic and said, look, you guys, what is this bullshit? Started he's playing his harp. Yeah. He was started playing. playing. He yeah. just jumps yeah. up and just boogieing around. <laughs> he's had some great of those kind of scenes. <clears throat> there was a time they were having, having some kind of reception for uh, Genet at Stanford. Damn, keep doing this thing. Right when uh, when Genet was supporting the Black Panthers, you oh, know, yeah. real heavy. He was there with all these Black Panthers and stuff like that. And they're having this reception, and uh, <laughs> he's he saying, comes in and just you know. <laughs> he's totally <laughs> fucking shameless, you know. <laughs> he just starts raving crazy shit at him, and stuff like that. Just completely stole the show. <laughs> yeah. He's a funny guy. He's good. He's good. He's... One time we played at some college up here, and they, they it was dur during that period of time when there were a lot of campus bombings, you know, been some bombings and stuff like that. We were playing. <coughs> he came and uh, <coughs> he brought this, you know, these like. Six sticks painted red with wire and an alarm clock. Oh, God. A couple of batteries taped on, you know. Yeah. Stuck them up on top of the amplifier, you know. And halfway through the show, all of a sudden, here's this a school official, you know, just like eyes bugging out, you know, sweat pouring out. There's a bomb on stage. <laughs> Evacuate, you know. Everybody can be calm, you know. And all this thing. They actually started evacuating the place, you know. The guy's going through all these changes, and I went over to the amplifier, and I, you know, I couldn't believe that he could, you know, that he was talking. I pick the thing up, I bring it over to him, and show it to him, you know, battery falls off. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bomb. You know. yeah. That was funny. You know, ship. Yeah. They had, uh, I remember, uh, I guess it was Babs and that thing came walking in with, with, a, with a girl, it was, it was the place was saturated with press, right? And he comes walking in looking like um, Clark Kent or something, this big hat on, th big thing sticking out to the press, and all these real ancient press. cameras, ancient cameras hanging yeah, out. Yeah, right, it was really old funny. speed graphic. Right, yeah, it was incredible. It's real nice. Oh, all is, right. this one, is this the one you were using last night? Yeah. I thought you had, uh, what was the one with the T in the neck? I see a number of those in stores and stuff. I, it's no company against Ellen Victor. Oh, Travis Bean. Travis, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, still using that one then? Uh, I have been. Would you? Yeah. I have been using it, and I just got this back from the guy that uh, made it for me who's been who worked on it. So. And uh, wanted to uh, see if there was still anything between me and it. Do you have uh, your guitars worked on at Lembic? No. Don't trust them. <laughs> this guy named uh, Doug Irwin, who's uh, real good, does real nice work. Like, uh, when I gave him this guitar, it was really pretty beat up. It had a decal on it. This, you know, I got it back from him and he inlaid it in wood and brass, oh, you know. Oh, God, it blew That's my mind. <laughs> now, there's a guy, you know, <laughs> that, alone, that alone made it worth trying, you know. Second, uh, you can talk to me while I'm doing this. <laughs> That's good. Oops. So you just been sitting in Portland? Sleeping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that kind of stuff, doing pretty much a lot of nothing. We all went to Trader Vic's last night after the show and uh, drowned our sorrows in zombies and uh, oh God, those scorpions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> We were speaking in tongues by the time they kicked us out of here. <laughs> yeah, this this is one of the weirder states for uh, Moose Laws, too. Oh, yeah? I didn't realize that. Uh, one of the worst. There's this organization called the... Uh, well, that's the state. 
Yeah, they can put a cube in the Business bombs. Okay. Nice to see all Walton down there. Yeah, really. Yeah. Still happy. Did you hear about the big parade the town gave him when they won? <laughs> oh, oh wow, that's great. This is out of control. Bill was just great, man. <laughs> it was a big crowd. We followed the parade for a while, and then we went down. They had, uh, they had a, uh, um, a presentation of the trophy in front of the city hall, and they had the mayor and the governor of Oregon. Yeah, and amazing. Had, the mayor was taking hits off the bottom and stuff. Oh, it was great. great. Yeah, Bill had, Bill had like seven different beers in the time I saw him. He was pouring <laughs> beer on the mayor and beer on the trophy, <laughs> beer on great. the audience. <laughs> he was really getting down. Everyone was just going wild. I mean, I'd never seen so many different, I mean, you know, not, not just a bunch of freaks or, or basketball jocks or anything like that, you know, it was, it was secretaries and businessmen and yeah. just all kinds of people. It was really hip. Yeah. That guy's really a great player. He really got behind. It was the largest crowd in Portland since the end of World War II. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they great, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> really? <laughs> the town really went wild. Couldn't have a nicer guy. For sure. I keep calling that guy, I think he's in Palo Alto, he's your agent now or something, at least for Jerry Garcia band. Uh, Richard, yeah. he's yeah. the guy that goes to Egypt. Right. Oh, right. But uh, he's a lot like me, he's, uh, he doesn't want to know about anything. <laughs> he doesn't want to work, fundamentally. Very hard to get a message through to him. Yeah. But I'm uh, yeah, just trying to you know, see if I get getting you up to read or something. What, to play? Yeah, we can do that. Ah, God, I don't know. <laughs> See, time is, it's tough because uh, we have to schedule our band stuff between uh, Grateful Dead things and I'm working on a record now, or that, or that band is, mm -hmm. and uh, we're seeing just, yeah. well, it just, it, well, it actually, actually it kind, of, reach kind, of, kind of like be fun. Yeah, if you, oh, if you got to reach question financially to bring you guys all the way up, which is, I guess the thing we're talking about. What we would do is do a few gigs, yeah. like Eugene, and, uh, you catch on a tour, right, yeah. especially yeah. Portland or something like that. Yeah, players. because because Bob's band played, uh, I don't know, two and a half years ago, three years ago, uh -huh. for, when I first came And they had away. a hell of a time, too. They had a good time. They did good. Yeah, everyone had a good time to song, for sure. Yeah, they were, they were really well received. What are you using in the strings now? Uh, these are these strings uh, called uh, Vinci's. And uh, they're made uh, by this guy, Tommy Vinci, this guy in New York City, who builds the string winding machine that all the other companies. Oh, wow. And the interesting thing about them is that they're, uh, they're, they don't have any nickel in them. So in terms of their magnetic efficiency, they're about 15% more they're, yeah. efficient as far as magnets are concerned. just pure steel? Yeah. They don't last very long. They rest through in a night. Yeah. I mean, they're really big. You lost a couple last night. At least one. Oh, yeah, I did. That was the first string I broke in about 40 years. Me and Ramrod were exclaiming about it. Yeah. It's because I have this guitar isn't set up quite right yet. Yeah. I need to fool with this and uh, mess it a little bit. Yeah. I'm still working on that black walnut thing. Oh, yeah? I talked about three years ago. Yeah. yeah. One of these days. Come on. Oh, jeez, I hate this. This is really the most miserable part of music. Tuning. <laughs> I don't have to do that. Oh, oh the cinnamon roll. Something. Oh, okay, the cinnamon roll. I was almost spacing out. Uh, I, I've gotten nuts behind piano tuning. What's that? What's Whenever that? you have time to enjoy it, this is, I don't know. I th what do you think, Jeff? I think it's the best cinnamon roll in the world. Check it out. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, yes. from this restaurant. It's the, it's the smallest restaurant in Portland, I guess. Yeah. I know. They, uh, they seat about 12 people for dinner. Amazing. They have, they have two seatings of dinner, uh, Friday night and two oh, seatings Saturday night. Yeah. And then they have brunch from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sunday, and that's all. They're open, they're open like eight months a year, and it's just a couple. They used to teach and read. Gotcha. They do it. That's a nice trip. There's a few places like that around. It's like actually the best of those kind of trips, restaurant trips. Those things. Oh, it's, yeah. like, it's like eating at home. Well, these Almost guys, as good as eating at home. <laughs> these guys spend like a week making the food they serve was too nice to them. Wow. On Sunday morning. And so I just open that thing up. You got to take a look at that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> One thing at a time. <laughs>
Besides, I don't want to get cinnamon on my guitar yet. That's for sure. I'll wait until after the disastrous first set, and then I'll be ready for anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, I hope you're disastrous. You just heard it moaning and groaning. You guys are always up in your standards, and people are not quite following you, you know? When did you, you play, you started the tour in Seattle? Or did you yeah. And so this is the second stop. Yeah, that's right. Aha. So we're, we're, uh, get that out of the picture. But our second night in Seattle was really a beautiful night. It was really a nice night. Really, uh, I mean, we actually enjoyed it. <laughs> that's good. That's hard. We're jaded as hell. I can imagine. Well, so Walton showed up. He's yeah. He's just going to hang out. Yeah, I just spoke to him briefly. He sure is big. Yeah. <laughs> guy's about tall and a half, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's even tall when he's sitting down. Yeah, I know. Why I hate this is so fucking boring. <laughs> you change your strength for every show? Yeah. Sometimes, twice a show. So where, how well, much longer is the tour going to be? Are you going to go play in the Bay Area after this? Uh, no, we're not playing in the Bay Area. We're playing... Uh, uh, the Southwest. Oh, what about Arizona? Arizona? Yeah. All right. Uh, Texas, Baton Rouge, and then we have a sort of Great Lakes leg that we're going on, and then we're we're working. That's what we're doing. We're not really just touring. We're working. Yeah. We're going to be working all the way through January. Ooh. That's good though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know. I guess after the I got, relative inactivity, not I guess, compared to previous years recently. Yeah, see, Mickey was in an automobile accident. I know, that's what I heard. Yeah. He pushed her to work on the Oh, yeah, he got nice and fucked up because ear ripped off. Slow down. Just downstairs. Things. Yeah, they put him back together pretty good. He, 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 he's, he's got a, a lot of discipline, so he's able, you know, it only took two months before he was able to play. Pretty miraculous. Yeah, because I remember you were originally scheduled. Donna to come had in. an operation as well. Oh, wow. Because you were scheduled to play at the Coliseum in like July. That's it. We had we had to blow it out for injuries. Injuries, <laughs> Great. Thank you, Sly. You guys have a really uh, hot road crew. Yeah, it's the best. The great scene. I mean, this is you know, this is like home. Coming out here is like, you know, it's much cooler than it is at home. What happened with that uh, English town thing? I heard, I heard, I heard the outside view. <laughs> you know, like the crowd, the crowd bullshit. It wasn't bad. Really? I, I mean, well, we weren't playing very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it was after like two months of not playing at all, and also it was that thing of... Donna was fresh from the hospital. She had to do the whole gig sitting down. She couldn't stand yeah, over the cast or something. <laughs> was fucked up, yeah. I mean, you know, so we were there, you know. Not, well, I, now I have to let it sit for a while. Stretch. And everything has to get adjusted. See, the Travis Bean, the nice thing about it is that it's uh, incredibly stable. So you can change the strings and do all that. You don't have to go through any changes. But this guitar, like other wooden guitars, to get it to really work right and play in tune and so forth, you really have to set it up again after every time you put the strings on because it changes the whole oh. camera. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How old is this thing? Uh, it's about five, I guess maybe five years, or six years old, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how old it is. What brand is it? It's not any brand, the guy made it. Uh -huh. I mean, what uh, well, <laughs> these things, I don't know. There's this new company that makes these things, and I don't even know what they're called. Yeah. I don't know what the name of them is, but they're they're a single coil pickups, like a, a, a Stratocaster. Yeah. Have you heard of Danny Shields pickups? You know, yeah. There's this guy in town, or somewhere. Uh, he might be down in Eugene or something. Mm -hmm. But he's supposed to wind incredible pickups. Just beautiful things. It's one of those things that uh, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure what the trip is with them. I don't even really. I don't have really. I don't really like magnetic pickups all that much. I wish there was some other way to do it. It's kind of clumsy. And the thing is that the hotter you make the pickup, the more irregular the harmonics get to be because it bends the string down here. Yeah. You know, if you have real strong magnets, it's like yeah. your string. The string instead of being like that, is like that. <laughs> <laughs> so the harmonics here are incredibly. 
you know, enharmonic. Yeah. Yeah. So you always wonder why the fuck is my guitar sound like it's not in tune here? You know, even though you, there's, there's you run into those kind of weird exchanges about. Yeah. Intonations. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did, did, has anybody ever given you the rap about piano tuning? Nope. Oh yeah. Oh, well, if you play piano, days, you ought to understand, understand what uh, what it's about because it's I you know, know, yeah, it's it's a weird thing and there and it's it's one of those things where you can find yourself in that space of playing an instrument and wondering why it doesn't seem like it's in tune to you, even though it's because there's all these different ways of, of adjusting the spread, the intervals, you know, because it's uh you know, how do you do? It's uh, it depends on the taste of the piano tuner. They can't tune it like righteously in tune because the, it's an artificial division of uh, of the octave. I mean, a, a real a real octave doesn't divide into twelve equal parts. You know, so they're you know they're doing trying to accomplish something that really doesn't doesn't ever quite yeah. work. Yeah. 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 Out of yeah. well, that's like the Indian mu music. musicians called West all Western music out of tune music. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how they characterize it. Ah, huh, that out of tune music. Huh, very nice. Yeah, Bach, wonderful out of tune music. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because you change key the frequencies for the. Like an A for, you know, say, playing G is not different from A for playing, you know. Yeah, that's right. A. The spread is different. Yeah, right. It doesn't reflect what's really happening in nature, so it makes it a little bit weird. And you know, so consequently, as you deal with all these different kinds of spreads, you know, for example, uh, we have an electric piano. They'll, you know, like now we're using three keyboards: a synthesizer, uh, Yamaha, electric, and another, another piano. And they're all different. They all have subtly different spreads in terms of the intervals. Oh my oh, God, these minute <laughs> changes happening. You know, what am I going crazy? <laughs> power to influence things oh, because of course. things were in such bad shape when you first got there. Oh, I see. Okay. Things well, were in worse shape. For, for example, me. that's a good excuse. <laughs> <laughs> when they ask you, that's what you can say. Well, it's, I don't know. It's sort of been by. Uh, yeah. It hasn't really been by accident. It's just you know, something that happened. It's sort of, it's sort of well, what important. the hell? No, it's you know it's a place I really like, I and mean, I get along with a lot of people there. So it's sort of mm. good place. It's yeah, it's small. Mm. Right, yeah. God, it's small. Man. Always been relatively hip. Yeah. Relatively. I don't know how many we've gone here. But, uh. A lot of them. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Things like that, just more see if you can do them, you know. <laughs> right. As soon as you get into them, you know, you want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I proved it to myself. Yeah. Big deal. No, we go from here. A lot of it's just like bullshit work. You have to do, you know. Sure. I mean, it's work. It's not, you know, it's not really play, it's work. And after about the first two months of that, it, it gets to be sort of a drag. Right. Actually, that's my absolute that's my dictator my space is much right. nicer, you know, because no responsibility goes <laughs> along with it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just delegate mindless shit. You know, I tasted it. I tasted it in. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's it for politics. That's it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Everyone's always just yeah, yeah, you just just Politics would be okay if you could uh, either be if you could either accomplish something right. or have fun. You know? <laughs> Neither is there. No, except for somebody like maybe you know Adam Clayton Powell was probably <laughs> like that never had fun. <laughs> 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 you know, like, Bimini is supposed to be just a great place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More than Larry Pills and Suntan Lotion. Exactly. Oh, my yellow fever shot's good till 82. <laughs> Let's go. So when exactly are you thinking of, uh, or do you, I guess you don't have an exact date, but this Egyptian gig. I Next autumn. Really? Yeah, that's what we're looking at. That really intrigues me. Yeah. We'll be out of school now. I'll be in Africa. Well, we'll be we'll be in Europe too, and then it'll be that kind of thing where it'll be at the end of a tour, and if we can do it, you know, we'll do it. And if we have to blow it out, it won't 
fuck yeah. with us too seriously. Who, uh, who invited you to Persia? Uh, some <laughs> one of the uh, royal households in there. Actually, this kind of lunatic nephew or something. There are a lot of those in the Saudi Arabia. Yeah, right. Finally got axed by oh, yeah, right. It was a guy like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> If uh, they build a, build a castle, we'll send a mosque somewhere. Don't have fun with that. Right. No Stay out in the desert. Drive your cars around. This isn't working too good. Or too well. <laughs> Very nicely. This go here? Yeah, that's right. That's good to you. Jerry, what would be hip would be uh, if things are things seem to be cooling off somewhat. If they continue to says uh, you. Uh, yeah, this is, this, is, this is true. They might erupt any day. Uh, in Lebanon, I used to live there about ten years ago, and the kinks came. To Lebanon? Amazing. Uh, haven't things gotten to be a lot weirder in Lebanon since then? Yeah, well, they had a civil war. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, if things do cool off, that would be interesting. Like a great, oh, we're, we're or, at that, visit, or at least a visit. Yeah, we have at least, to be at least in the one sort of perverse fantasy of playing all the trouble spots. Sure. Yeah. And, I mean, if we could do it without getting it's hung or something. Oh, no, but above think... and beyond that, as places open up, we're into them. Yeah. We like to play in Cuba. We'd love to play in China. And Bill Graham is even now trying to hustle a scene where we would play for free in Red Square in Moscow. <laughs> you should oh, do it. God. I can't. I'd love to. <laughs> they, right now, they won't let me go to fucking Canada, you know. Sure. <laughs> you know. the country? Uh, yeah. The Canadians won't. Oh, the Canadians? I mean, yeah, I'm not too... You know, oh, I thought it was like U.S. government Yankee mm -hmm. passport. Now, for some reason, probably because of all our ac old acid reputation and stuff like that, we're still looked upon as something uh, sinister. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> corrupt yeah. sort of naive mm -hmm. country. So. <laughs> Not here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Canadians seem to be into that. <laughs> Very straight. With, with the with the Keith Richard. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they really, really screwed him. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're. You know, it's that uh, it's the English style uh, law thing, which has uh, got a real edge to it. You know, has a, it has a real hard edge to it. Uh, it just in terms of uh, the experience of being busted in Canada, it's like uh, in America when you get busted, you're at the mercy of the individual cops. It, it uh, has that level of individual expression. You know, in other words, they'll be the cop that says, "Ah, hi, yeah, hi, we got you." You know, and there'll be another guy who's the nice guy cop. And, you know, yeah, I used to listen to your records, and uh, well, I have my kids. Who would you say? Is, you know, or, you know, you have all that range. In Canada, there's like, bam, there's the rules, that's and that's it. Yeah. You know, there's no. It's it's like typical of the whole English uh, civil servant space. You know, yeah. real. Uh, <laughs> you know, you no, are, no deviation. Absolutely, absolutely none. Yeah, they turned me. Yeah. They turned me back at the border of last year. I was going to be driving across, back to New York, across Canada, and. Uh, we showed up at this little border station. It wasn't it wasn't on five or anything. It was like way off two leaves that way. Um, about eleven thirty, the place closes at twelve, right? <laughs> oh, and, uh, the country and closes out. at twelve. <laughs> and the car is like no, loaded to the hilt and back. You know, like two guitars and amps. And they, so they yank out the guitars and they go, "How much are these worth?" You know, tell them. You know, he's like twelve dollars for the guitars. And he said, "Okay, that would be three hundred dollars uh, duty deposit." <laughs> oh sure. We used to, uh, See you later, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think you're gonna sell them stuff like that. They're very. Uh, That'd be, you know, I was thinking of setting that up um, in Paris because there's a real high demand for Martins in Paris, for instance. You know, and um, just so if you over. took took fenders over there, you could make an incredible fortune if that was your trip. Yeah. Any yeah, of those take them over in American cars like Corvettes. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Really just totally clean it up and then yeah. get and a whole bunch of BMWs and bring, and bring them, them back. back. Yeah. So. <laughs> sure, it does work both ways. It does. It does. It. It's surprising. We ran into this Hungarian, I think. No, no, no. Well, not Hungarian. Pardon me. Romanian? No, no, no. Czechoslovakian. Maybe. Maybe Czechoslovakian. A rock and roll band. Yugoslavs. That's it. That's it. Yugoslavian rock and roll band. And these guys had paid the most extortionate price. They were called something like Locomotive GT. Oh, Locomotive GT. Oh, I heard one of their albums. They were not too good. They're really not good. They played at the Keystone. and Yeah, right. Really? Yeah. Yeah, right on the same bill with my band. Which band is this? With Merle? Yeah, me and Merle, I think. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> pretty funny. Yeah, 
But those guys paid incredible prices. I mean, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars for uh, drums and stuff like that. You know, I mean, they really the, the it's ri ridiculous. Yeah. What there they was, had to pay. I saw some warm up guy from some. God, what was it? was down here last year. God, we've seen the worst warm up bands. Who was warm up bands? <laughs> I have yeah. never got any concerts here, but I haven't seen tons of shitty warm up bands. It was when, uh, it was when yeah, Ross Wilder was playing. It's so good that you guys don't play with him, unless you're on any of these outrageous Day on the Lawn or some such. Yeah. Bill Graham extravaganza. Then you could hardly that. describe the Who as a warm up. Uh, well, oh, actually, we were their that. warm up. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was good. It know, was fun. Saw, that sounded like they were a great. Good idea. They were really great. Boy, I, that was neat. I dug them. I like them a lot. I like their trip. <laughs> Have you heard uh, Peter Townsend's new album with Ronnie Lane? Yeah. Yeah. It's good nice. stuff. Rough mix? Yeah. Good stuff. I like that too. It's park. Yeah, it's pizza all right. It's really fun. Well, okay. What's is there that? anything? Uh, uh, hmm? Pardon me. Under the doors open. Uh, six fifteen or something like that. Yeah, we got to cruise back across the river. I still have to go home and get my tickets. Oh <laughs> uh, no, you don't. Well, you're on my guest list. Oh, we are. I was bringing. I was yeah. taking bring three others in. These guys have tickets. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, in that case, they're not on my guest list. <laughs> Actually, what happened with the guest list here is Dan Healy, our sound guy, has got like forty relatives or something. <laughs> no shit, man. He's got a, a two-page guest list, you know, in alphabetical order. Mom, dad. <laughs> and in a theater like this, you know, and so and of course everybody else like half the crew is from here and everything like that. It's a little bit hairy to pad the list. But. Oh, yeah. Uh, I could do it, actually, but uh, it just depends on whether you want to hassle with it or not. Or it's not a, not a hassle for you. It just depends on whether you actually want to go and get your your other tickets or not, or do any of the rest of that shit. Well, actually, as long as the time whole really thing is that you don't yeah. leave, you know. Yeah. I mean, you're here. <laughs> How are we gonna get in here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I just tell somebody, and they would give you the the passes and stuff like that. But I don't know. I'm not. You might even have to go outside and go through the whole thing. Although I somehow doubt it. I'm not sure how that shit works. Yeah. So if you'll be working through January, you won't be doing anything with your own band until next spring or something. We might play a little bit. Uh, Maybe a little bit in uh, November, but it, but really we're trying to get this record done. So if the record doesn't get done, then we probably won't play in November. This is uh, a de another day album. No, it's uh, my band. Oh. Hey, uh, you mentioned. Do you have a place I can touch with Rock? Scully, he just got out of jail. Yeah, tell me about that. Uh, you could probably get in touch with him uh, via one of the offices. Okay. Probably a letter would work better than anything else. Okay. Because. Um, the friend of a friend of mine who I first met Rock through had uh, um, was that uh, what he Rock knew his parents really well, uh -huh. and his father used to teach at international school, which was one yeah. I went to. Now. Right. Um, they've, they've had like, all kinds of problems. Where's also trying to get to Rock to tell me family fuck ups and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Just write a letter to the office and he'll get it. Yeah. Okay. He was. Uh, what did he get possible? Cell, he was in the same cell as uh, Haldeman. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it was one of those conspiracy dope things. You know? It was kind of a railroad job, actually, the rock out, but it was a federal beef and a tough to wrangle yeah, way out of it. Man. But he did, he essentially got off. How long Pretty much. He was only in for three months mm -hmm. or something like that. And I didn't even do the whole much. time. Yeah, but that's not that bad of a jail, I mean. <laughs> it really isn't. Asley was in, in there for three years, it wasn't it? Isn't that bad? I went, went down there a few times. It's, that, it's one of those uh, country club jails. Which one is this? A law park. <coughs> oh, this is south. Uh, this Southern is off California. 101. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've driven by there a bunch of times. Yeah, it's, yeah, just, it's just you know they have tennis courts and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yeah, it is. It's very lightweight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, grass. They don't even have any walls or anything on that shit. Just like stick around, guys. Yeah, yeah, don't go anywhere, please. It's <laughs> yeah. all the sort of white collar criminals. Yeah. I like guess he was in there with this guy who was a bank burglar. <laughs> <laughs> An exacting profession. The, the kind of guy that tunnels into banks. 
Yeah. <laughs> you remember those France? Heavy trip. Do you remember that, that, right. you remember that, that, right. that Paris robbery? The oh, Paris yeah. robbery? They're making a movie of that. So oh, that'd be great. And they're, apparently they're hiring the guys to uh, do the movie. So oh, great. Like, advise them on the movie. Like, Why not? Like, legal fees or something, you know? Yeah, that's a trip. That's a heavy trip. That that trip is that's, a, that's a, one of those levels of high professionalism. Yeah. Yeah. And that little who was he? I think he was he was a watch repairman or a jeweler or something like that. So this little guy led a very sedate life. Saw a check. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been great fun. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. My time is not. I mean, you know, I'd be back here talking to the walls if I wasn't. Don't forget that slinger off here. Yeah, don't yeah. worry, I won't. You guys don't have to leave if you don't want to. You can hang out if you want. Stick around. Okay. That'd be good. Sure. Whatever. You split? I think I'm going to stay. Uh, Are you going to cruise out? Let me know. My ticket's at home. Oh, Make sure Jody has them both so she can get in. If and anybody I'll calls probably... up and asks you what you're doing and why and all the rest of that stuff, tell them that you're on my guest list. Okay. Well, bye. And, uh,. Good. I'll probably meet you out on the seats. Janice is safe. Can I get a picture against the wall? Oh, come on. I'm against the wall, man. Oh. An album cover page. Take it snappy. Thank you. I'll meet you guys downstairs.